this video we'll be actually discussing about information technology and system audit subject so let's find out how do we actually make it more easy and study it well okay let's come to the first point and now that we have a syllabus in our hand so let's make a categories of the syllabus so how do we do it based on big chapters small chapters what is the quantity of uh, how many pages is it so now the first category that you'll be actually making is a small chapter which is 2 6 8 9 and 10 and then the big chapter comes in 1 4 5 and 7 okay the next category being the chapter 3 and 11 so it's not that important so i'll talk about it in the subsequent point okay now that we have actually categorized the whole syllabus and made the number of categories into number of chapters and everything so now the important question is how many times that we need to study this subject before we actually go into the exam this being very complicated enough because that we haven't have studied this kind of subject anywhere else so first basically you have to i suggest you to have at least three reads the first read being that you should make a bit of notes and also collect examples about few topics and the second read is that you have to now expertise in the small chapter which i already told you and in the big chapters Importantly, take the difficult ones that you feel that this particular point or this topic is very difficult for you. So that this actually you'll be revising the same topics again and again. Now that the second read is over, the third read actually being that you should really now concentrate on the whole syllabus completely and small chapters, big chapters and everything. So now that we'll actually be very confident enough to go and write very well in the exam. The next point actually being how that you actually read chapter 1. See because chapter 1 is a bit completely different than the other chapters, you need to be quite specific about penalties and also there are different sections also in the chapter. So there are a few important topics that you actually need to read in this chapter. So these being the important topics and then make sure that you actually make a note of different penalties and everything. So that it will be very useful for you to understand in the latter part of your study. Okay, now that we have actually known about chapter 1 reading, so let's come into the chapter 2 reading. This being completely different than the chapter 1, I guess it's it's very important for anyone of us actually to read, be very specific about this chapter. One being there are normally the question, direct questions which is asked like types, different types of so and so kind of uh, particular topic and also explanation about the topic. So in this way, please better make sure that you write different examples and also different points for each of the topic so that you will be very well versed. This point being the strategy to read small chapters. See, now that example may be programming or you know DBMS or anything. So now that it is actually small chapters, you better have to concentrate on each topic so that we will be very well versed. So how do we concentrate on each of this topic? Let's make some very good notes of our own so that we'll be able very well versed in the whole chapters and so that it is very easy also for us to revise a table form. Okay, do you remember that I actually told about chapter 3 which is a computer hardware and system audit that I'll be talking about this at the latter point. Yes, this point is that one. So what we have to do about this chapter is, see this chapter a bit long but actually contains like in the exam it will really will come up to only less marks. So what we have to do is that please make sure you are very much thorough with the repeated uh, topics or the questions and this you can refer in the scanner and also for the other important or the non really important topics make sure you just have read it see this is only when you have don't have enough time for you to study if you have enough time for you to study please make sure you also thoroughly read these two chapters this point actually includes that how many notes that you have to prepare see the first notes being that you have to prepare the definition notes because in the whole syllabus there are numerous definitions and you have to be very much thorough with it and this definition can even fetch you more marks if you add it in your answers other one being the distinguished notes see there are different topics where often is asked for the distinguished questions so please make a separate notes for it which is going to be very helpful for you to remember this point being the very important point now that we know that information technology is quite a dry subject so let's come into this picture wherein how that we actually can know uh, how that we actually simplify this whole procedure see what i used to make is there are different merits demerits demerits and characteristics in each of the chapter so there is just a simple example what i made with this merits of dbms so what is this i just made a word known as caris c a r u s so this states as above and it's going to be very useful and also very easy for you to remember. So make sure you make the same kind of words for every other characteristics or minutes. Okay, this point states about last minute reading. See, often we have found in the situation that information technology is 
quite not being very big but it also will create a lot of confusion at the end so at the end what i suggest you is that please go through the notes of distinguish the definitions and also practice flow charts see if there is a high possibility that you actually will get a question of fine marks for the flow chart so please make sure that you practice all of this and also refer chapter at glance which is this particular whole column in scanner so this is going to be really helpful for you to remember the whole chart okay how to score high in this subject so often that we actually find out of people saying that you know it's very difficult to score high in the subject but personally i will tell you that it's very easy because if you write charts and also probably few examples one which is very much similar to what is happening around probably like example maybe tbms thing or internet and technologies chapter all of this will have a very simple examples and please make sure that you write all of it maybe one or two examples in your answer and this is going to be really fetching you very good marks I hope that all of these topics and particular points that I told you was useful for you. Uh, if you haven't have subscribed our channel, please subscribe. And if you have any queries, please ask us. We'll be really happy to help.